Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial Experiments Lane episode number 9. Alright, uh, the previous episode, um, we got uh, a new development where like previously like at least I was under the impression, I'm sure most of us were under the impression that there were like two lanes but now we can see that there's another lane, the third lane, who is a lot different from the other two lanes. He is a lot more evil in a way and she kind of keeps an eye out on over everyone she's like the god as like you know the god in the wired the self-proclaimed god in a way you know uh, he said that the, the definition of a god in this sense is where a entity is everywhere at the same time so that's how in a way you can call this third lane a god in some sense because she is basically everywhere she listened to all the rumors everything all the fantasies delusions of the characters and you know what do you call it she kind of uh like you spread the rumors and stuff and uh, i think her name the lane's best friend you know she also got affected by it and now that i think about it it really makes sense like you know the weird noise that we used to uh, hear all the time not noise but people talking you know like there's like someone is saying something like you know like i did this and there's someone who said that i love him so much and then there's another like you know weird like talking uh, like you know conversations we used to hear in the middle of the episodes sometimes i'm guessing those were like lane actually listening to all the rumors and delusions the people had and you know like because the, she is connected to the wired and the wired and the real world are kind of colliding together everything kind of became the same and since brain is in a way uh, electrical like you know a place of electrical signals where you uh, you know your brain kind of sends an electrical signal and in that way it can interpret it uh, it can be interpreted as uh, like the things that you're thinking the delusions that you're thinking in your head is being conveyed in the wired and somehow in that way lane is getting to listen to all of them i don't know like this is just like how i think of the whole situation i might be wrong and i'm sure we'll get more answers in these couple of episodes so without further ado let's get started this is episode number nine yes nine of serial experiments lane so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started <laughs> all right so here's the countdown three Two, one, go. Hmm, okay. Oh, also, um, I forgot to mention that in the end, we see Lane herself has been taken out of her own body. So I wonder how what she's going to not do now. Like, you know, she's just like her sister now, in a way. Like, you know, like her body is doing like, like acting like, you know, acting like the actual real Lane and you kind know, of taking independent action. So yeah let's see all right
Free of suffering. Okay. What? Proto protocol. Whoa, what the? Oh my god, this is so bright. Kind of stinging my eyes. French craft crash. Okay. Rumor has become history. Okay. All right. Boy. Thieves. Is this the... Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, who's peeping on her now? Who is this? Dad or this or mom? What? Wait. Wait, no one's there? Or what? No. Who is this? Whoa, what the? Oh my god, it's an alien! Wait, now we have aliens? <laughs> Guessing that's an alien, it looked like one, so... An invisible... Hmm... MJ... 12... Top secret magic eyes only. The dead men concluded a secret treaty. Oh, as a special organization only to the present. We have aliens here, that means. Accepted present from. Copy carefully. Document. Electrical. Okay. Oh. Oh God! Here we go again. Okay. Doesn't all of the yeah true. Yeah, that's why everyone knows her, I'm guessing. Is 
if it means the Bama, that proves that it's part of a record. Okay. Oh boy. Mimics memory. Commission. Hmm. Oh. Okay, there are a lot of information given out here, like in random weird ways. And I think, I guess our job is to actually piece it together, but I actually cannot. It's kind of difficult because there's so many information. And to connect it properly. Hmm. Yesterday. Okay. Oh my god, is that uh good is the uh, knights yeah this next hitting network. ECCO After the day began Ha huh. Hmm, hmm. Okay. Oh, these guys, uh, these kids. Oh, wait, what? Well, he tells that to everyone. Ah. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Wait, what? What? Oh, did she change again? Wait, one thing I'm unable to understand. It didn't in the previous episode we see that they were separated, the body and the thing that how is she interacting with everyone? Liquid carbon. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Here we go. One of the Knights member. Yeah. Damn that. <laughs> the way she's looking.
Oh, okay. I'll have to talk about this. So this lane is the only one. Here, the other one with the body has appeared only in the club. What? What's happening to him? Okay. <laughs> Whoa, what the? What's happening here? Oh, maybe these are aliens. Maybe these are aliens or something. That can be a viable answer. Maybe aliens are actually in their body. Oh boy. There's, there's a lot of things that could be going on and All right, I'm confused. Oh boy. Oh God. Data coming into JJ's place. Who is JJ? Hmm. Oh my god, what the? non volatile memory. Oh! Alright. Yeah. Hmm. Changed again. Yeah, like she's saying that there's only one of her here, but it seems as if she's changing. To make the one and only truth that. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Mew Mew. That's her name? Yeah. Um. Whoa! What the? This boy, what the hell is wrong with him? Oh, great. <laughs> Whoa! What the? Stop listening. Can't listen to library. But any terminal. No? Dana do. All written culture never be lost. It takes that wood. Ah. 
are these like real happenings that happen like i'm not talking about the things but the people i'm guessing they existed because they're using original pictures of them i'm guessing What? Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing they're not their actual mom and dad. It, it, it kind of is being hinted. I don't know. Hmm. And his friends are also. Okay. Effect on that the brand constant gives us remains unknown. The Oh my god. Saying that the earth itself can become a human brain or something when everyone is connected. Human model. Yeah, oh my god, yo. Okay. This is some like high level stuff that's <laughs> God. <laughs> wow. There's only one truth. God. Worldwide neural network. Okay, there you go. Hmm, okay. Oh. What's happening? Who's that? What the? Who is this? Oh boy, well... Mm. <laughs> like... It seems as if... 
they're answering the questions, but at the same time, they're bringing up new questions. All right. The reason why it's actually kind of difficult to understand everything at one setting is most probably the way they're doing this. Like, you know, like they're explaining a little bit, which has like no, um, what do you call it? No prop, uh, no direct relationship to the anime, but it's still needed. The things that they're explaining. And then they're like, you know, they're doing that. Then they're showing parts of the anime and then again, giving us more information again, doing that. And what you're supposed to do here is actually like figure it out on your own, what the relationship is the anime has and the information given has and then kind of put them together and actually realize what's happening, which is pretty difficult in my opinion to do, uh, like, you know, kind of watching it for the first time. So there's a lot of information they gave us in this episode, which I still am unable to understand what type of relationship it has with the story. But there are a few other information, which was especially given to us the end. That I can understand how it can be related. So, okay. Uh, first of all, one thing I was unable to understand here is so what happened in the previous episode in the end? Like we saw that the the other lane took over the body, and like you know, like she got driven out of her body. Now, how is she like talking, walking, interacting with all the other people here? Then in this episode. Now, I think like I think Lane herself kind of answered that question when he she was talking with that kid. Um, she said something like, uh, like th in this world, there's only one of me. But in, 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 in the uh, what did he say? Did she say like in, in the club or something, like, you know, in the school or something like that. She said that there's another me or something like that. I don't know. Just a sec. Like, mm, where is that section? Okay, when Lane brings uh, the kid. Okay. Uh, okay, here it is. She says, I don't know whether or not there's another me in the wired. Um, but there's definitely no other me here in the real world. This one. Okay, here it is. The other one with the body has only appeared in the club. So, wait, so what's happening here? That means like, she also, like, according to her, she doesn't know any other lane, like, you know, who is in this real world like this body like in, in this lane she's the only one here he doesn't know whether there's another lane in the wired but she knows that there's another lane here which has a body who is only in the club so according to her like here in the real world the lane that we are talking like the kid was talking to here is the real lane okay that's only one she doesn't know if there's another lane in the wired. She doesn't know that. Now, my guess is the lane that we always see in the wired, who is a little bit, you know, uh, bold and outgoing, that lane and this lane is the same. So, so I'm, I'm guessing according to her, the lane that we are seeing, the lane that was talking to Taro, okay, that was his name, Taro, wasn't it? Yeah, was, was talking to him. That lane is the same lane who goes to the wire and who we are seeing in the wire being a little, you know, who's like talking with all the others and gaining information. I'm guessing all of them are like the same lane, only one lane. And there's also another lane who is, uh, who has gotten a body recently in the club, as she says. So I understand that. So what the hell is that switch that's happening? Like she says that there's only one lane in the real world. 
but we can clearly see that it's actually not that case it's like like one time she is very soft spoken and it seems as if she really doesn't realize anything like, you know the, the when taro said something like you're not the lane in the club in, in the like you know uh, in the nightclub uh, when taro said that you're not the lane that i wanted to talk to and then like he comes here and taro talks with lane and when like you know she ta uh, lane is that same soft spoken lane who doesn't realize what's happening and then when she brings out the chip like she switches completely and she starts talking in a manner which is like very overconfident not overconfident very confident very bold outgoing and she's talking with taro and then after everything happens she again reverts back to the soft spoken lane but according to her the lane here is only one lane so what the hell is that switch that's happening is that like part of her own personality like is that like a real multiple personality disorder that means like the, 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 there's only one lane i can realize i can understand that like I, i'll take her word for it that it's only one lane in the real world but in that one lane maybe there's like two personalities which are kind of switching now and then so that's why she said that in the real world there's only one lane because she herself doesn't think about the switch in personality as two different separate lanes she thinks that those two personality are the part of the same body so she's not differentiating between them you know she's referring to both of them as a single entity and that's why she said that as far as i know there's only one lane in this world which is actually both of them both of the personalities the soft spoken lane and the outgoing lane both of them are she is you know kind of um, making them into one entity referring to them as one entity and obviously the other lane that we saw that she's referring to is the lane who we saw in like you know in the previous episode the the uh, like, you know the the nasty the cruel lane uh, who got a re got a body as she says so maybe maybe that's actually it maybe like you know this whole switch that we've been seeing for so long like at least i was kind of thinking that okay there's like three lane that means like you know one lane that is soft spoken one lane that is outgoing and the other lane in the previous episode who was completely nasty the bad lane you know so i thought like okay there's like three lanes but then like you know like i thought that uh and from this episode i'm realizing that it's not actually three but two because the two that i have been always differentiating between the soft spoken and the uh outgoing lane they're actually the same person they're not different so maybe that's it you know maybe that's what's happening here i don't know i, st I still have more questions so this means that lane actually doesn't know like the, the question that lane said the thing that lane said that she said something like i don't know where is it um okay okay here this uh, statement i don't know whether or not there's another me in the wired so does that mean she is suspecting that there's another lane in the wired who is completely different from this lane and the lane uh, who got a body wow there's a lot of things happening here like what is uh, i don't know no 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 maybe maybe um ah okay okay maybe maybe it's not that maybe like i'm thinking that this lane that we're seeing here and the lane in the wired who we saw a little bit ago a few minutes ago where he she was talking with all the informants in the wired you know uh i thought that those two were same maybe they're actually not the same maybe there is actually a lane wired in the lane who because like you know the, the informants in the wired they're saying something like they've been saying this for quite a long while for a couple of episodes they're saying that uh since the moment of the wired's creation you have always been here yeah so maybe there actually is a wired lane that we have been seeing like because you know like as they say like this lane has been always here from the beginning as soon as the wired was made so uh it's kind of confusing but i'm guessing it's going to get more clear because now i kind of have an outline of what's happening 
there are i think three more episodes three or four more episodes left so like i'm guessing it will get more clear within these few episodes because i feel as if we're actually getting close to the actual answer you know as the episodes go on and it's kind of clearing up little by little okay so this episode as i said had a lot of information from the real world like you know like like what happened and like you know like the first thing that they say that a strange craft crashed in the desert in new mexico america in 1947 um what it was has yet to be proven conjecture has become fact and rumor has become history so i don't know if this is somehow related to that alien thing that we saw you know and now i'm kind of thinking you know like maybe maybe these people that are kind of like you know like an empty husk living the dad the mom the sister maybe they're actually aliens who took over the body or something like that like that might really be true because i really was shocked when we suddenly see that you know after just after that scene where they tell us that there was like a crash that happened in america and no one knows what the ca cra crash actually is we see a little alien thing peeking at lane i was like what the hell like that means there's aliens also involved in this my god <laughs> and then the next information in 1984 a manila envelope uh, envelope arrived at the home of a tv producer james shandera the envelope from an anonymous source contained a role of underdeveloped film undeveloped film the film contained what is called the MJ-12 document. Um, Roscoe Helen Quater, head of the CIA at the time of the Roswell incident, was at the top of the list of 12 members. It stated that these men concluded a secret treaty with the extraterrestrial. Here you go. As a special organization answerable only to the president so they're saying that they're making an organization with aliens which only uh, is answerable to the president it's now accepted that president truman's signature on the document was in fact copied carefully from another document okay so maybe the president also doesn't know what's happening so they said that the, the sign is signature has been copied oh Named as a member of MJ-12 was Van Vannevar Bush, head of MIT's Department of Electrical Engineering. Uh, okay. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, Okay, then when the, the Lane is talking to the people in the Wired, uh, they're saying since the moment the Wired has been created, you have always been here. Here you are free. And this Lane says that I'm trying to tell you that that's not me. Okay, so yeah, this Lane that we're seeing now, uh, that's talking with the people in the Wired, she is the real world Lane, that means. You know, uh, she's the other personality of the real world Lane, not the soft spoken one, but the. Uh, outgoing one this this thing and she is confused about the fact that all the people here are telling her that oh you have always been here from the wired's creation this lane doesn't know that this lane is saying that okay that means that there is some other lane in the wired as well who i don't know okay that's what is happening okay it's getting clear now and they said i suppose um how long have we been in here at the very least, we cannot have been here since the world was created. Uh, it's nothing to do with it. If a being is remembered, that proves that it's part of our record. Uh, preposterous. How old do you think this lane is? She's still a child. Okay, so what's actually happening here is... Um, 
I might be wrong though, but I'm kind of thinking of it in this way. Uh, there's only one lane in the real world, but there's something weird with that lane. He kind of, she kind of has like two, like, you know, two layered personality. One personality is when she's soft spoken, doesn't really understand much things. And you know, that's one lane. And then there's another lane who is this lane, who is very outgoing, you know, bold and all, or maybe like, I'm kind of differentiating between them, you know, maybe that's not actually, maybe that's one whole person. That's, there's no split personality between her. It's just that she kind of shifts her personality now and then. You know so one thing that is pretty clear is that in the real world there's only one lane who might or might not have two personalities maybe those two personalities are part of the same personality and she just kind of you know switches her demeanor time to time so but it's kind of like a very abrupt change to actually say that it's both of them are the same I, I kind of feel as if it, it's kind of like a two tiered personality you know I won't call it split personality but it's kind of like that something like that but anyways, in the real world, there's only one lane and this lane is confused uh, about hearing about the lane who has always existed in the wired, you know, so that's why she thinks that there's another lane in the wired who is doing something and she doesn't actually know that. So that's what she suspects. And then there's another lane who we saw in the previous episode is who got a real body, you know, and who's like working around. Now, here's one thing. Like we're kind of differentiating between the wired lane and the one who got a body. Maybe they're actually the one and the same thing because the lane who has always existed in the wired, maybe that's the same lane that we saw that that nasty lane who we saw, you know? So maybe it's actually her who take, took the body in, you know, in the real world. And he's like, she's like now roaming around. So that might be an answer to the question, but it's pretty clear now that the that I like I was under the you know I was misunderstanding this the lane that we are seeing in the real world is actually one lane there's no two lane you know and yeah maybe that's it okay the next information that we got here and is okay the memics memory expansion concept unveiled by Vannevar Bush in 1945 uh, was a system where information recorded on microfilm was projected in the translucent screen. Um, what he envisioned was the compression and rapid access of information. Even before the advent of computers, Bush already created the basis for a current multimedia while he led the Manhattan Project atom bomb experiments. Okay, again, like this is like the talking about the compression of information, like all like, you know, um, like electrical, you know, like technological stuff. And then Len goes to the nightclub. She finds out that uh, she actually left the chip here, which is handed over to her by the bartender. And it's the same chip with the Knights logo. I think that is the Knights logo. Okay, then again, uh, conducting sensory deprivation experiments using Native American narcotics and isolation tanks to probe the human's unconscious. John C. Lilly believed this experiments connected excuse me, him to cosmic entities by way of communication network. Lilly dubbed the beings that guided him ECCO. Earth Coincidence Control Office. <clears throat> okay, and then um, afterwards, Lily began to work on communication with dolphins. And dolphins are creatures which are able to conduct wide range networking in the water via ultrasonic wave. Okay, that's why she was experimenting on them. Uh, she or he, I don't know. Lily, they said. Okay, anyways. Um, then Lane comes and takes Taro to our house. And here we get a lot of information. Like the whole thing with where, the, um, you know, uh, Lane confronts Taro if he is a knight or not. And Taro says that he 
is not a knight, but it's kind of like it, you know, not a full fledged member. Okay, and uh, now here's one weird thing that happens after that. Uh, the dad and the mom, the dad says, like, it's almost over, isn't it? Finally. The mom says, so why we still can, we should. Now, I don't know. I feel like these are actually aliens. You know, like, must be. I don't know. I might be wrong. Like, they, you know, they're like aliens in the human body, taking over the body of the mom and the dad. I might be wrong, though. Okay, and then Lane says that what would have done if I had installed this? No chip. She says that would I kill, have killed myself or would I go insane? Okay, and then he actually spills everything. He says that it's a non-volatile memory. It'll overwrite existing memories. Okay, that's what happens. And But she, he doesn't know what memories are actually overwriting it. And... Uh, And he says something about the truth and like, you know, like uh, the knights are actually following it, trying to reach the truth and stuff like that. Okay, so now the thing, what happens after this, just a second. Okay, um, just a sec. Where was that scene? Uh, the next scene. Okay, and then we see that um, Lane, we see Lane brought into this house with by the men in black, or was it someone else? Just a sec. I'm not sure if that was a flashback or something, but something happens where we get a weird scene where, yeah, it, no, I don't know if this is the men in the, no, it's not the men in black someone else in some suit they bring lane to this house and we can see the sister the mom and the dad now like you know what i'm thinking sometimes i'm kind of thinking like now that we see that aliens are actually here i'm kind of thinking maybe like you know the aliens are doing some kind of an experiment and maybe this is like a part of an experiment where like the mom and the dad were actual aliens or something you know I'm not sure about the sister though, like what's up with her, but they brought Len to the lane to this family, like he's actually not their child or something. And maybe the aliens are actually kind of experimenting to see what human emotions are or something like that. No, that's why like they said that it's almost over, like let's try to do this before it ends and the mom started kissing the dad. Like maybe they're actually trying to find out what human emotions are and trying to, you know, kind of understand that. Because, and then, like, you know, we also saw the alien kind of peeking, peeking into Lane's room. So, all these kind of things kind of make me think that maybe, like, you know, like, they brought Lane to this family. I don't know, just because, like, they wanted to, what do you call it? Know more about humans or something, how human families act and all. I, I, I might be completely off base because I'm kind of thinking the like, I'm saying this on the, uh, you know, notion that the mom and dad are aliens. Maybe they're not aliens at all. Maybe it's something else that's happening. But, you know, kind of thinking about it like this now. And uh, who knows? Maybe that's why Elaine actually doesn't remember who her mom and dad are, where they live, you know, when they were born, where, uh, when are their birthdays and stuff. Like, you know, about her childhood and all, because these people are actually not their mo her mom and dad. They're someone completely else. I feel like it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, now here comes the next part where we got a very shocking information. Uh, it says the Earth has its own specific um, electromagnetic waves. Yeah, we know that. Um between the ionosphere and the earth's surface there's a constant resonance at a frequency 8 hertz in the elf band this is called schumann resonance so this thing is happening 
this free vibration, this resonance, and the extent of the effect on humans of these Earth brain waves that give planet constantly that the planet constantly gives off remains unknown. All right, understandable. The Earth's human population is approaching the number of neurons in the brain. So here's the, the you know uh, what do you call it? Shocking thing. So obviously we know there's like lots of neurons in our brain and they're saying the number of people in the earth are kind of getting close to that. So Douglas Rushkoff proposes that the consciousness of the earth itself might be awakened when humans on earth become collectively networked. So what's actually happening, I kind of said this before I started this episode, is that uh, brains are kind of like electrical signals they kind of put out, you know like so in a way it's kind of like an electrical circuit in our head so what they're actually saying here is if the amount of people in this uh, world like reaches the same number of uh, amount of neurons in our brain and in our brain all the neurons are connected and all these people somehow get connected you know in any way in digitally or whatever way you know it'll, it'll like the earth in itself will start having a consciousness just like a brain brain has one and it, the earth in itself will become a huge brain so okay and nowadays with the like you know with the wired i'm guessing it became like everyone's connected now so it's it's kind of becoming something like that um the network's evolution would follow a neural model and just as neurons within the human brain are connected by synapses the earth itself would become a neural network here we go my god okay so from the beginning of this anime we've been kind of like getting the feeling that like you know not getting the feeling but it's been told to us that the real world and the wired are getting connected you know, are kind of getting together and the, the boundary is getting like you know uh, getting fader and fader it's kind of closing in collapsing in together and that's what's probably happening and everyone's connected and all it's like they're like a, a brain and you know like obviously in a brain everyone knows what's happening and everything is connected and i don't know maybe maybe the big consciousness that uh, like you know the consciousness that in our brain we have is like our ourselves like we ourselves like whatever that's happening in our brain we as an individual know that yeah this is happening this is what my brain is thinking so maybe the lane that we see here you know the god lane that they say like that's always been existing in the wild maybe that's a, kind of a, an entity like that a god entity that know whatever every like, you know whatever's happening in the real world you know in the in the whole world in whichever place this lane knows like he's here, there, everywhere. Like so, in a way, that's kind of like a god. And in a way, maybe the the lane that we are like, you know, has always been in the wired, and who is been treated as a god, you know, it's like the what do you call it? The resultant of the consciousness that the whole world has as a brain. I don't know what I'm saying, but I think it's something like that. My God. Okay. Oh my god and then in the end we see like a weird person standing in the middle of the street and i don't know what's going to happen after that so like lane kind of confronted that but like he's being confronted that by that person and we'll have to wait for the next episode so yeah i think like it's kind of coming together we're kind of getting to understand what's happening i'm sure we're going to get more answers in the next episode and the future episodes so yeah hopefully i'll be able to understand what's happening by the end of it yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to serial experiments lane episode number um nine so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of serial experiments lane so until then goodbye and have a nice day